When you visit the Wikipedia page of Red Bull, you will find three important names. Christian Horner, Adrian Newey, and their technical director, Pierre Wash. These three men are the pillars that hold Red Bull together. However, there appears to be a desire by the team to frustrate Horner out of his job under the guise of inappropriate and coercive behavior. But if Horner was to leave under these weak allegations, it will set off a chain of events that will guarantee the departure of Nui and Pierre. But other departures are on the horizon. Aside from these three, Red Bull could lose a fourth man who is crucial to their success. In the event that all these people leave, we wonder what Max Verstappen will be doing in what will essentially be a dead team. The team looks desperate to self-destruct, and Sebastian Vettel posted a cryptic message, reminding Red Bull that there is still a race to win. To piece together this report, we have quoted the Italian Gazetta and the UK Guardian. We will also bring up a report from Andrew Benson, chief of BBC F1. The demise of Red Bull is on the horizon, and like vultures, the other teams have gathered to scavenge their remains. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Welcome to Front Lockout. Why Adrian Newey Can't Abandon Horner Christian Horner was barely in his 30s when Dietrich Mateschitz hired him to lead his newly bought team on the strong recommendation of Bernie Ecclestone. As a young team principal in 2005, many had expected the job to swallow him. But Horner recognized his own limitations and by 2006, he brought in Adrian Newey. The link between Newey and Horner dates back to their childhood. According to the UK Guardian, both men were born in Warwickshire, and they had attended the same prep school, 10 years apart. In the earlier part of his career, Newey was very successful, winning titles with both Williams and McLaren. According to Gazetta, it was Christian who took him to Milton Keynes after convincing him that Red Bull would be a great challenge for him. The discussion to convince Newey to come to Red Bull reportedly took place over a Monaco GP weekend. Horner had invited him to the premiere of a film Red Bull was promoting. But Newey didn't need much convincing. Just like Horner has a problem with Red Bull, Newey had a huge fracas with McLaren back then. Although he built them a title-winning car, his relationship with the team later became incredibly hellish. It was reported that things got so bad that he even considered retiring from the sport. He demanded a $10 million salary from McLaren, but the team balked at the amount and he went to Red Bull. Five years later, Fettel would win them their first driver's championship. At a time when Adrian Newey was considering retirement, it was Horner who gave him a lifeline. Horner gave him his career back and the much-needed stability he never had elsewhere. Turns out that even a genius needs the right conditions to thrive. Seeing how cutthroat the sport could become, Newey and Horner entered into a formal agreement to protect each other. Veteran journalist Joe Seward reported that Horner and Newey have a pact to stick together to protect each other's jobs. If one of them is to leave, the other would follow. But this is beyond a word-of-mouth agreement. This agreement is in black and white. According to the UK Guardian, Horner and Newey are each believed to have key man clauses in their contracts that would be voided by the departure of the other one. Fast forward to 2024. Red Bull's body language suggests they want to remove Horner by any means necessary. It appears their CEO wishes to grab more power for himself and Horner is a major stumbling block. It has even been reported that the CEO, Oliver Minslaff, could take over the job of Christian Horner. But the problem is that the case of inappropriate and coercive behavior against Horner seemed weak at best. In the event that Horner decides to quit due to the ridicule his employers are making him go through, it will be Newey's time to save Horner. He once saved Newey when he had a tumultuous relationship with Ron Dennis. Now is the time for Newey to repay that favor and quit with him. But we are afraid that is not the end of the exodus. 
even more departures. In the event that Christian leaves and Nui follows, Red Bull will rely on the pool of talents within their ranks. But that pool is increasingly becoming thin. The other guys in the team are observing the way the management is treating Horner, and they know it will soon be their turn to be treated like trash. According to Andrew Benson, the chief of BBC F1, Red Bull's technical director, Pierre Watch, is on his way to Ferrari in 2025. Benson seemed very sure that this would happen. The departure of Pierre Wash is linked to a different reason, but the treatment of Horner is expected to help him make up his mind very quickly. Pierre is the second in command to Adrian Newey, and over time he has grown tired of being in the shadow of his boss. Pierre himself admitted that Newey is not really involved in the day-to-day -day running of the team as his job has evolved to giving the technical team an overall direction. Pierre is the one who rallies the guys to execute Nui's ideas. But the Frenchman is increasingly looking for a role that will make him more prominent. Ferrari had tried to bring him in 2023, but that deal fell through. However, the signing of Hamilton was part of Ferrari's grand plan to be able to lure the best talents. Hamilton's signing is expected to generate a force of attraction as people are more likely to go to a team where they know that a driver like Hamilton will be able to extract the best from their creations. But the exodus doesn't stop there. If Horner, Nui, and Pierre were to leave, the next top talent in Red Bull would be Enrico Balbo. The aerodynamics expert is also a long-term Ferrari target. While rumors for now suggest that he is not so open to leaving, a lot could change over the course of this season. If these people were to leave Red Bull, how long can they keep Verstappen? The Dutchman knows too well that the car is just as important as the driver. He knows a great car is crucial to winning. Nobody needs to tell Verstappen any of these. He knows it firsthand. When Mercedes conquered the turbo-hybrid era, he was beaten by Hamilton for six straight years. Max is in a rich vein of form. I am sure he must be devastated by this news as the team seems to have lost its ultimate focus. This is also aside the fact that the leak about the allegation on Horner was potentially leaked by his father. Only time will tell if Verstappen would stay put in Red Bull if these guys were to leave. There is also the possibility that Horner survives these and lives to fight another day. What do you think about these potential departures? Are there more people you think we haven't captured? Leave us your thoughts in the comments. This is Front Lockout, signing off.